Hey buds! I was given this lovely book to review, so watch for a full review later, but upon opening it I was super inspired to try out one of their springtime recipes, especially since the dandelions are definitely here. I've never made a souffle before, so why don't you join me and let's see how the book guides us through it. <laughs> First we'll start with picking four cups of young dandelion greens. So wash your four cups of dandelion leaves and then you will shred them with a clean pair of scissors. Pour boiling water over top and leave them for five minutes before draining thoroughly. While you wait, you can separate and prepare your eggs. Do your best to make sure no yolk gets into your egg whites as it will make whipping them much more difficult. Nutrition fact. There is a myth that a brown shell means a healthier egg inside. But in truth, the color of an eggshell does not tell you anything about the nutritional value of the egg. Beat the egg yolks well and whisk your egg whites until they are stiff. Then butter the bottom and sides of a two quart oven safe baking dish, which you will then dust with some cracker crumbs. In a saucepan over low heat, melt four tablespoons of butter or margarine. Blend in three tablespoons flour, one teaspoon salt, and a pinch each of pepper, basil, and thyme. Remove from heat and gradually stir in two cups of hot milk to make a smooth mixture. Cook over medium heat, stirring continuously until the sauce bubbles and thickens. Stir in the dandelion greens and one tablespoon of green onion tops. Cook over medium heat for five minutes, then stirring constantly, add in your well-beaten egg yolks. Gently fold in your stiffly beaten egg whites. And pour everything into your prepared dish and bake at 350 degrees for 40 minutes. And when you insert a knife into the top of your souffle and it comes out clean, our souffle is supposed to be done. Serve immediately accompanied by a crisp salad, hot crusty rolls, and grilled strips of lean bacon. Until next time, Keep it weedy.